hi <laughs> Great intro to this video. Um, hi, my name's Shade, if you don't know that. No, my name is not Shady. Contrary to popular belief, <laughs> I am the person that runs this channel. <laughs> so, I asked questions not too long ago, and I'm gonna answer them as I go. Get to know the person behind the, or underneath the wig. <laughs> Let's go. What's your favorite song to sing besides Sincerely Me? I don't know. <laughs> I like Sincerely Me. It's just a song I go to a lot because it's just one that's just on my channel now, <laughs> apparently. I really like Light in the Hallway by Pentonix. That's really good. That's probably one I go to a lot. First con you went to and how old were you? First con I went to was Essie Comic Con. That was when I was... I was 13 when I went to SC Comic Con for the first time, I believe. What's your favorite anime? My favorite anime is either Seraph of the End or The Rising of the Shield Hero. Both are really good. Yeah. yeah. Dog's barking. What's your favorite musical? My favorite musical is probably Dear Evan Hansen, and I know that's like said a lot, but Dear Evan Hansen is just kind of just there in my soul. <laughs> How old were you when you started cosplaying? It was later in later in the year after I. It was maybe a year later. No, when I first went to my con, I was in seventh grade, and when I started cosplaying, when I was eight in eighth grade, so it was 15, 14. I was fourteen at the time. I'm pretty sure thirteen or fourteen. I think I was fourteen. Yeah, because fifteen, I was freshman year. Sorry brain who's your favorite person to cosplay as i get this question a lot actually and i don't have a favorite character to cosplay whoa um i really don't um i just go with whatever i like a lot of the characters that i portray and everything like that so i don't really have a favorite so someone like did like five and one so i'm just gonna do one of them we'll go with what's your favorite video that you've made i really like my 10k video because i got a lot of my friends into that it was really fun it was a pain to film though because all of us were just goofing around the entire time which was really fun i want to do something like that again and i wanted to do it for like you know 50k but quarantine what was your first cosplay my first cosplay was actually Ma nightmare may from night in the woods that was the one I went to as for the first con that I went to, yeah, it was old and the one I did after that when I started cosplaying consistently because I never did that cosplay again, but it technically was my first. Um, the one after that was Pitch. Was there any specific reason you cosplay a character? Not really. I mean, it really depends on- I really relate to a character if they're my favorite character and I just want to be them. <laughs> Or if I need to get something done for a video and like no one else that I know has that character or like whatever. If I want to make content with that, I usually do something like that. Basically. Why'd you call your why'd you call your channel Shady Cosplay? My name's Shade. And when I started this channel, I was like, I just need a name for cosplay. Cause I did my Instagram first. I was like, I need a name. Cause originally my Instagram was actually a fan page for Voltron. <laughs> Fun fact about that account. That's what it originally was and then I changed it to a cosplay account <laughs> I was like I need a cosplay name since so I'm gonna be starting cosplay and I'm changing this into a cosplay account What's a name I can like go by my name's shade. I know tons of people play off of their names Shady I can't escape it now. I'm doing a lot with my hands today. I'm like hyped up. What's your sexuality? I don't know. <laughs> I've said I'm pan for a while, but recently I'm like, I don't know. I just want to fall for forever. So I'm kind of like leaning towards the label queer just cause I don't really want to like, it's queer can be like a lot of different things. It's like a huge, um, it's an umbrella term. And I like that cause it's not, if I someone asks, I just say oh, I'm queer or if people want specifics, I can say I'm pan cause that's technically, but like, I just want to fall for forever and not be pushed under a label, I guess. And queer is more like, comforting for me so probably gonna go with that if you could meet any bnha voice actor who would it be probably kirishima's because he just seems like such a sweetheart and i know a lot of people have been like you know forcing like ships on him not gonna say a specific ship but if you know you know um and they always people just i try to get him to like admit to the ship even though 
he's just the voice actor, not the creator of the show, so it's not on him. So, I kind of want to meet him because he seems like such a sweetheart and he goes along with it and still is really kind to those people and he's just amazing. Would you host slash be in a panel if given the chance? I would love to. Oh my gosh. I'd love to be in a panel. I don't think I could host it immediately because uh, I don't know how to work that, but I'd definitely be in a panel before I would host one. So if anyone's going to any con that I'm going to and wants me to be in a panel, hit me up. But uh, some of my friends, like Rachel Lee Cosplays, has like talked to me about doing that. And I want to. I really do. I think it'd be really fun. And I'd love to like, you know, do that. It'd probably honestly be for B&HA because that's what's really big. And that's what I'm big for. Um, so yeah. I keep on doing this. Stop me. I'm not bi. <laughs> Are you single or taken? <laughs> um, I'm Polly. I'm taken by multiple people and I'm not giving any more information than that. <laughs> what's your favorite color? Yellow. It's a very nice color. My hair is yellow, it just doesn't look it in this lighting because you know the blue and all that. You know, the light's nice though. I like these lights. Tips for people who have parents that have blatantly denied cosplaying. Closet cosplay is always an option. Use excuse Halloween to get stuff. I know it's a long way away, but like use that as an excuse maybe if you if your family allows Halloween, because I know some places don't for some reason. But um like some families don't except I think it's of the devil or whatever. Right, um, you can use that as an excuse because I know I've used some of the stuff that I've got from Halloween still to this day in some of my cosplays. I use that as an excuse to make my Halloween Bakugo. Even though I was gonna probably make it anyway, but yeah. Yeah, use that as an excuse to make a cosplay or closet cosplay or get stuff from Goodwill because it's always cheap. Um, for wigs, the only thing I can think of is if you buy it on your own and hide it or if you, I'm not condoning that, but, or if you get a wig for Halloween or a costume party or something like that. That's all I can think of. What are your pronouns? That's a lovely question. My pronouns are they, them. Strictly they, them. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Who do you love the most in My Hair Academia? I would expect to get a lot of My Hair Academia questions. Um, Kirishima is my favorite character. What's your favorite animal? Birds. Have you ever had any had anything happen to a cosplay during a con? I mean, it wasn't mine, but I made it. I made my cousin a cosplay for Shira, and the part of the sword broke while we were there. And it was when we first got there, and we we're waiting in line to get our badges, and it broke. I think it was then, wasn't it? I think, if I remember correctly. But it was just the gem part, which I was upset about, but like, it was okay. Do you have any anime crushes? Too many. Honestly, Rough Talia from The Rising of the Shield Hero. Love her. Mina from Being a J. Mika from Seraph at the End. <sighs> I love them. Why did you start cosplaying? I've always liked dressing up ever since I was a kid. I just never labeled it as that. I always liked dressing up as princesses, Jedis, whatever I could get my hands on. I would dress up. And that kind of dusted away as I grew up and it kind of made me sad and then I found out about cosplaying and I was like, I wanna do that. And what got me into it was a lot of YouTubers like Cross Connect Cosplay or The Kanta who did uh, Voltron videos. And what was the other one? Presto Productions was another one who did a lot of Voltron stuff. And I watched a lot of Voltron at the time and I was like, I wanna do that. So then I did it. <laughs> And here I am. The first time I did a cosplay was because of the con. And I was like, yeah, let's go as May and Nightmare May. Because I went with my friend who went as normal May. What do you do in your spare time? Cosplay. Uh, watch YouTube. Draw. Yeah. If your sexuality isn't straight, it's not. How do you get used to it? I never labeled myself as straight. But I never thought about it. I just liked who I liked until I liked a girl. <laughs> I liked my best friend in seventh grade and that's what was my gay awakening, but I never had ever labeled myself as straight. I just don't like labels apparently. But it takes a long time for a lot of people and you can take time to figure yourself out. I first identified as bi, I then identified as pan, now I identify as queer more so. 
I like I'm just figuring this. I'm still figuring myself out. It, oh, it's not a five minute thing. It's not a day thing. It can take years. I've been I'm I'm a sophomore, two years into high school, and I've been struggling, struggling, trying to figure myself out, gender and sexuality wise, since seventh grade. <laughs> so we get like four years, <laughs> and I'm not gonna be done soon. I doubt, but. Find out what makes you comfortable and you don't have to be under a label. I know everyone like is pushing labels on everyone. Like, are you bi? Are you gay? What are you? Kind of thing. You don't need that. You don't need to be put under a label. You can like who you like. You can identify as you, how you identify. It's okay. It's okay. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is probably... Now You See Me. I don't know why, I just really like Now You See Me. It's really good. Or The Road to El Dorado, because I watched that a lot with my cousin and it's iconic. A lot of people are asking me where I get my wigs. I get them from different places. Um, I got a lot of my wigs in the beginning from Amazon. Cosplay wigs is where I got my pitch when I remember, but I don't like their other stuff. I only like their pitch wig. <laughs> um, Arda, I'm going to be getting a new wig from there. Then there's another one that I forgot the name of because I always forget the goddamn name of it. I'm getting a new wig from another place that I forgot the name of. Anna Boo or something like that. I'm sorry. Do you like pancakes or waffles better? Pancakes all the way, 100%. Sorry. If you had to choose an anim any anime character to date, who would it be? Maybe Mina from BNHA. She just feel I just feel like she'd be fun to go out with. I love her. She'd be like a meme, but also like a bean. Love her. What's your favorite anime besides My Hero Academia? My Hero Academia is not my favorite anime, actually. I know I do a lot of cosplays from it. I really like it. I wouldn't put it, it probably is in like my top five, but it's not like my favorite. It's all my friends like it as well. And I like to cosplay with people and that's like the only anime a lot of my friends know <laughs> or will are willing to cosplay with me or the people that know other things are just not near me. I'm trying to get my friends into the Rising of the Shield Hero though. Go watch the Rising of the Shield Hero. It will not get a second or third season if people do not appreciate it, please. I really need more of it, it's so good. If you like Sword Art Online, you'll love this. It has like that fantasy vibe for it, but it's way better than Sword Art Online. I'm just saying, beat Sword Art Online all the way. I swear if the second season goes downhill like that one, I'm gonna cry, but it's good. <laughs> anyway, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. I don't seem like a Virgo in a lot of aspects, but I'm, I, in a lot of aspects, I also do. So yeah. What is my posture? Is my, like, are my shoulders uneven? Okay, anyway. Song that's been stuck in your head. So this is love. Do, 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 do. That one. That's been stuck in my head. Freaking Disney. It's been stuck in my head for so long. So Ray commented. If you don't know Ray, he's the one I mostly do videos with. Is you just a tiny creature filth, a teeny cryptic sewage? And I'm going to throw my phone. Ray, if you're watching this, you probably are. Because you're like one of my few friends that watch my videos. I'm going to throw my phone. <laughs> What's the first ever anime you watched? The first one I watched was Codebreaker. And I'm trying to get some of my friends to watch that. Because I'm, I want to rewatch it. But I'm only going to rewatch it with one of my friends. So he better like... You know, come over here and watch it with me, but like, I can't right now. Unless we do it online, but that's not as fun. Have you watched Haiku, Fairy Tale? Yes, I've watched both. I haven't finished either. I mean, I finished Haiku and then they came out with the new stuff, so now I'm trying to catch up, and I have not finished Fairy Tale yet. How old are you? I'm 16. Do you read or write fan fiction yourself? I read and write fan fiction both. I've not written on my fanfiction in a while. It is in the link of my Instagram bio if you want to find it. I haven't written on it in a while because I usually write during school and we don't have school right now. So I'll try to continue it if you guys want me to. But yeah, anyway, that is all I have. There were a lot of questions, but I didn't want to make this video too long. So yeah, um, thank you for anyone who left that totally recently and not five months ago um from when i'm recording this but thank you so much for watching this chaos um hope you guys um have a good day night life whatever and 
I hope you vibe. I hope, I hope you vibe, because I'm vibing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. My shirt's like uneven. Fall oh boy. Um, I look so emo today. Emo today. I swear I'm not emo. I just wanted to wear this today. I'm also... Does this look emo? Does... They are pastel. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. I post every Saturday. So come back next Saturday. I love you guys. Bye.